there's actually one more thing that I wanted to show you before we wrap up chapter two. So ignore my little uh, finishing up in that list last video. Um, I want to show you how to crop images and I'm going to show you this probably 25,000 times this semester because literally it is the number one thing that students will continue to get wrong over and over again and to me it's one of the most important things. Uh, if you wanted to make a picture that is 5 by 7 and then you go to print it and it's 3 by 2, that's a problem. And so I want to talk to you about the proper procedure for cropping and we've already covered that if you go to the image and image size dialog box inside this dialog box if you do not resample you can change the resolution to your output and so the first step in cropping is to ask yourself how big could it be and so if I wanted to put this image on the web I would change this to 72 and say I could put this on the web it's 45 inches by 34 which wouldn't be appropriate at all because I don't know anybody who has a computer screen that's that big but I'm just asking myself how big could it be and I want that answer to be bigger than what I want and so if I wanted to put this on the web as 5 inches by 7 inches or because it's landscape 7 inches by 5 inches I would say good I have enough pixels now we're gonna print this so I'm gonna change it to 300 and by we're gonna print it I mean hypothetically we're going to print it so I'm going to change the resolution to 300 and say I want to print this at 10 inches by 8 inches. Do I have enough pixels? Yes, I do. If I was trying to see if I had enough pixels to print this at uh, 13 by 20 or 20 by 13, a really big print, I would have to say no, I don't have enough pixels for that and I would have to come up with some other solution for what I'm trying to do. Now I'm going to crop this image to be 7 inches by 5 inches because that's a common photo size. Uh, once I change the resolution to 300, I can just stop and say, well, I have what I need, right? I want to make it 7 by 5. It could be 10 by 8, so I'm good to go, and I'll hit OK. And I'm going to leave the resolution at what I want my output to be. The next step is to actually make this image five, uh, 7 by 5. To do that, I'm going to switch to the Crop tool, which is the fifth tool down on your Tools panel over here. When you do that, your application bar at the top of the screen is going to change. And you want to make sure that on the drop down menu, you are able to choose the width, the height, and the resolution. It's incredibly important. If I only choose two of those three settings, Photoshop will figure out what the other could be, and it'll just make it up. It'll say, based on your parameters, you want it to be 7 inches by 5 inches. You didn't choose a resolution, but it could be 712, so I'll make the resolution 712. And we've already talked about how that's a bad idea because we don't want to have more than 300 for print because we're just wasting our time, right? We're just wasting file space for no reason. Depending on what version of Photoshop you have, you may have to find that option on your list. And the Creative Cloud versions, it's at the top. The default will be ratio, and you'll notice that you can only choose two settings. We want to choose all three, so do not use ratio. You want the width, the height, and the resolution. Once you have that, you can choose what you want. So I'm going to choose 7 inches. I'm going to zoom in again. Obviously, I don't know if it's working in the videos or not. 7 inches by 5 inches. I could type pixels in here if I wanted to. And then I want the resolution, the pixels per inch, PPI, pixels per inch. I want that to be 300. When you go to crop, you will get a cropping uh, diagram here that will allow you to see what you're going to crop. The aspect ratio, or the width between the, the ratio between the width and the height of the image, is not the same for seven inches by five inches and whatever size this image was. And so I'm going to have to crop out part of the image. I'm going to leave it at default for now because we'll do another lecture on how to crop it artistically. When you're ready, you can hit the little check mark at the top of your screen and you can commit the current crop operation, or basically you can say, yes, that's what I want. And when you crop it, it's now 7 inches by 5 inches at 300. But don't take my word for it. Go back to the image and image size dialog box because this dialog box just tells us facts about the image. You have a certain number of pixels, it is a certain number of inches, and it is a certain resolution. And so when we go back to image and image size, we'll see that the image is now 7 inches by 5 inches at 300. The number of pixels in the image is 2100 by 1500, which is uh, smaller than it was because we got rid of some. That's considered downsampling, and, th and that's okay. Once you have that, you can select OK, and you can save your document, and now you have a document or an image that is the size that you want it to be. I would like you to practice that. We'll cover it again in Module 2, um, but for now, you should practice it, and you should make sure this is like the number one thing you focus on 
for module one in the semester.